हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज हम रे ऑप्टिक्स का एक क्वेश्चन करेंगे जो इंडियन फिजिक्स ओलंपियाड में पूछा गया है हालांकि ये काफ़ी सिंपल क्वेश्चन है क्वेश्चन के और भी पार्ट्स थे उसको मैंने एक सिंपल सा पार्ट चुना है और ये क्वेश्चन काफ़ी हद तक ये सिस्टम एटलीस्ट को रिलेट करता है एक ऐसे क्वेश्चन से जो पास्ट में आई में भी पूछा जा चुका है तो आइए आज समझते हैं इस क्वेश्चन को और इसका सोल्यूशन आप सभी खुद से करने की कोशिश जरूर कीजिएगा ये क्वेश्चन ईजियर साइड पे है मेरा मानना है आप में से बहुत सारे लोग इसको कर लेंगे और अच्छा फील करेंगे कि आपने ओलंपियाड का क्वेश्चन क्रैक कर दिया लेकिन उससे पहले एक छोटी सी बात आप सभी से कहूँ इस चैनल को ज्वाइन कर लीजिए इसकी मेम्बरशिप ले लीजिए एक छोटी सी मंथली फ़ी देकर आप इसकी मेम्बरशिप ले सकते हैं मेम्बर्स के लिए कुछ वीडियोज़ एक्सक्लूसिव रहेंगे जैसा मैं पहले भी कह चुका हूँ और अगर आप इस चैनल पर पहली बार आए हैं नए हैं तो सब्सक्राइब तो जरूर कर लीजिए अपने दोस्तों के साथ शेयर कीजिए और वीडियो अच्छा लगे तो लाइक जरूर कीजिए आइए समझते हैं हमारे आज के इस क्वेश्चन को क्वेश्चन <coughs> कहता है टू इक्विलेटरल प्रिज्म्स मैं हट जाता हूँ स्क्रीन से इनफैक्ट टू इक्विलेटरल प्रिज्म्स विथ रिफ्रैक्टिव इंडिसज म्यू वन एंड म्यू टू रेस्पेक्टिवली आर प्लेस्ड वन आफ्टर अनदर An incident ray is shown on the left, and final emergent ray is shown on the right. Each prism is individually adjusted for minimum deviation for the respective incident rays. Find the angle alpha between the bases of the two prisms in the configuration, and also obtain the total deviation suffered by the ray. So here is your question. The question says that these are two equilateral prisms. They are made up made of two different material having refractive indices mu1 and mu2 respectively and they have been placed uh, the two prisms have been placed making an angle alpha between them and the arrangement is such that when this light ray is incident on one of the refracting faces of the first prism is it suffers minimum deviation in this prism the same ray when enters into this prism it also suffers minimum deviation for this particular prism that means uh, we have chosen a ray such that uh, both the prisms <coughs> deflect the ray by minimum possible amount in their individual capacity right and uh, for the same ray this ray will pass through this prism here the condition of minimum deviation is met and the same ray when it travels through this prism again the condition of minimum deviation is met now the question is what is value of angle alpha and what is the total deviation suffered by this light ray remember both the prisms are equilateral prisms but their refractive indices happen to be different numerical value nahi diya hai simply mu1 or mu2 diya hai i hope ki aap sabhi log is question ko samajh gaye khud se try zarur kijiye isse pehle ki aap mere solution ko dekhe <coughs> Uh, ये इंसिडेंट लाइट रे है जो दोनों प्रिज्म से पास होने के बाद कुछ इस तरीके से कुछ इस तरीके से ये मेरा सिस्टम हैंग हो गया लगता है हाँ कुछ इस तरीके से ये लाइट रेज ये लाइट रे दोनों प्रिज्म से ट्रैवल करती हुई बाहर निकलती है ये इंसिडेंट रे है और ये इमरजेंट रे है ये मैंने चारों रिफ्रैक्शन के लिए नॉर्मल्स बना दिए जो डॉटेड वाइट लाइन्स हैं दे आर नॉर्मल टू respective refracting surfaces right now let us say the angle of incidence for the first prism is i1 okay because this prism has been set for minimum deviation condition so the minimum deviation occurs when light ray passes symmetrically through a prism what does it mean if the angle of incidence is i1 then angle of emergence here also should be equal to i1 this light ray is basically inside the prism the light ray is parallel to the base of the prism and these two angles the interior angles happen to be equal right so these two angles are equal they are both are i1 and the interior angles usually we write it as r1 r2 i am writing both of them as r1 they are equal because the prism is set for minimum deviation condition i hope all of you understand this similarly for the other prism let us say the angle of incidence is i2 
this dotted line is normal to this refracting surface and this is the angle I2 which is angle of incidence for the second prism. Now here also the light ray suffers minimum possible deviation which simply means that this angle should also be equal to I2 right and very similarly the two internal angles here they will be equal I have represented them by R2 okay. So this is a neat diagram showing the path of the light ray and various possible various angles right. So our first target first question is to find the value of alpha what is the value of alpha. So just doing a little bit of simple geometry can tell you that alpha will be equal to some of these two angles I1 and I2 very easy to see in this particular triangle this angle alpha is 180 degree minus this plus this right and this angle obviously is 90 minus I1 this angle also is 90 minus I2. So some of these two angles is actually 180 degree minus I1 plus I2. So obviously alpha will be equal to I1 plus I2. So to find the value of alpha we need to find I1 and I2 and please remind yourself about the given quantity what are, what are the given quantities angle of the prism both the prism <coughs> I am sorry equilateral prism. So angle of the prism is 60 degree right that is given to you it is given that light rays are passing uh, symmetrically through both the prism which we have already used by assuming that I1 both these I are equal I2 and emerging angle is also I2 uh, R1 is R2 uh, these two angles are equal and these two angles are equal we have already accounted for that that light ray is passing symmetrically through the prism A is given and the refractive indices mu1 and mu2 for the glass of the two prisms has also been given right. So in terms of those quantities we have to find I1 plus I2 can we get value of I1 very easy I think it is very easy is not it. Many of you must have guessed by now that R1 both these angles should be equal to 30 degree because uh, you already know that some of these two interior angles is equal to refracting angle of the prism because it is an equilateral prism A is 60 degree therefore R1 is 30 degree and similarly here also R2 is 30 degree. So both R1 and R2 are 30 degree the rest is very simple is not it just by applying Snell's law here we can get the value of I1 just by applying Snell's law here we can get the value of I2 and alpha is nothing but I1 plus I2 yes you have heard it correctly the question is really that simple. <laughs> so R1 and R2 both are equal to 30 degree no doubt about it now I am applying Snell's law over here. 1 here the medium is air refractive index is 1 1 into sin I1 is mu1 into sin R1 R1 is 30 degree sin 30 degree is half therefore I have written I1 as sin inverse of mu1 by 2. Similarly if you use Snell's law over here you get I2 is equal to sin inverse of mu2 by 2 and this solves the question actually value of alpha will be I1 plus I2 sin inverse of mu1 by 2 plus sin inverse of mu2 by 2. So the first part is over. The second part asked you to find the total deviation suffered by the light ray right. So here is how it can be solved it is also very easy this dotted line shows the direction of the original incident ray and this dotted line shows the direction of the final emergent ray. So angle between these two dotted lines this angle is the actual deviation angle right. Uh, you can find out that deviation angle by doing some geometry but one trick which always works and is quite easy to use many a times is to add individual deviations to get the total deviation. What I am saying is uh, we can just figure out what is deviation suffered by the light as it passes through the first prism and then we can figure out what is deviation suffered by the light as it passes through the second prism add the two deviations up in fact ek do teen char charo deviation ko add kar sakte ho alag alag ek hi baat hai par normally aapko yaad rehta hai ki in dono deviation ko add karne se prism se pass hone wali light ray ka total deviation 
I plus E minus A, I is angle of incidence, E is angle of emergence, I plus E minus A, A is refracting angle of the prism. So, the prism se pass on a light ray card, jo deviation hoga, wo deviation aap bhot asani se lick sakte ho. I plus E minus A, yaha pe E ki value bhi I hi hai. So, I1 plus I1 minus A, that is deviation suffered by the light ray as it passes through the first prism. And similarly, the deviation suffered by the ray as it passes through the second prism is 2 I2 minus A. And both the deviations happen to be in same direction. You must also verify this. Both the deviations happen to be in same direction means uh, with respect to the original direction, both the deflections are happening in clockwise direction only in this particular diagram. So, you can add them. So, the total deviation of the light ray will be this plus this, this plus this. So, 2 times of I1 plus I2 minus A. I1 plus I2 to abhi nikala tha. <laughs> नहीं निकाला था अल्फा निकालने के लिए अल्फा क्या था ये देखो भूल गए तुम अल्फा क्या था i1 plus i2 ही तो था सो अल्फा इज i1 plus i2 एंड देयरफॉर टोटल डेविएशन इज i1 plus i2 minus a व्हिच इज 2 टाइम्स अल्फा माइनस a सो इन प्लेस ऑफ i1 plus i2 यू कैन राइट द वैल्यू ऑफ अल्फा एंड हियर यू गेट द आंसर जे ही एडवांस में क्वेश्चन बनाएंगे मोर देन वन करेक्ट टाइप वाला तो एक ऑप्शन उसमें ऐसा भी दे देंगे कि डेविएशन इज ट्वाइस ऑफ अल्फा माइनस से ये एक ऑप्शन होगा और शायद आ, उसको पता लगाने के लिए आपको ये स्नेल्स लॉ भी लगाने की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी है कि नहीं आप सिंपल ऐसे ज्योमेट्री से देख सकते हो सो दिस वाज द क्वेश्चन एक्चुअली इट वाज आस्ट इन इंडियन नेशनल फिजिक्स ओलंपियाड इन 2024 आई गेस एंड दिस क्वेश्चन क्या क्वेश्चन इससे प्रेरित हो सकते हैं बिल्कुल होते हैं पास्ट में भी हुए हैं आगे भी हो सकते हैं चलिए मिलते हैं अगले वीडियो में किसी और कांसेप्ट किसी और क्वेश्चन या किसी और चर्चा के साथ कीप रॉकिंग स्टे हेल्दी कीप स्टडीइंग